Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Gatekeeper Media as we bring you the final nine of our 2022 303 Open as part of our Gatekeeper series. We are out in Fort Collins, Colorado at the Anheuser Busch Beer Garden. We appreciate you all tuning in. And of course, we'd like to give a special thank you to our Patreon supporters who helped make this coverage possible. Once again, I'm Dustin Murray, bringing you the commentary alongside one of our competitors, Nick Hansen. How's it going, sir? Going great. Looking forward to this back nine we have today. Absolutely. As we take a look at our lead card here, you saw Kyle Klein, a little bit of a bumpy road to start, but starting to catch fire here towards the end of the back nine. I think AJ Carey, though, those four birdies in a row are going to pay dividends, uh, kind of catching him back up on the leaderboard. So he's certainly sitting in third. Joel Freeman at second, two strokes behind our leader. And then we got our chase card kind of chomping at the bit here, yourself included on that, as well as Nathan Queen. And let's jump yeah. right back into it here on hole number 10. Yeah, hole number 10, 330 feet. You're going to have OB on the right and left hand side. And it's really just kind of a placement shot. You're going to have most players are going to just throw kind of a spike into the green and hope it sits. After a couple of back-to-back -back birdies, Kyle Klein does take the box here to start off our back nine. Swinging in that spike, Heiser. Oh, oh boy. Oh, it hits the basket. You know what? Kind of oh. scary, too, because how many times does that roll away? Oh, man. Stayed close for him, though. But a form check here, and Kyle's snap is just so impressive. And a little low to high to get that Heiser. It's going to drop right next to the basket there after hitting the bucket. Uh, shout out, though, to Tyler Liebman, who did ace this hole on the last day of the 303 Open. Sweet. Joel Freeman, single one out there, gets a bounce and kind of a nasty roll away. Oh, no. That's going to catch that ditch on the other side. If you, like I was saying, if you don't stick, you have the risk of rolling. You know, all the way low B there. So AJ Carey wants to control the shot by playing kind of a forehand. So it can kind of fade away from that OB on the left-hand side. I mean, I would say this shot kind of confuses me out of him. I feel like he throws the backhand very well. And bring that tree into play, I feel like for no reason throwing the side on. Oh, this is scary. Needs to stick, and it does dig. It could be actually now seeing in these. I think maybe it's the it was the right to left win, and so that does actually make a little more sense that he threw the side on. Oh, that is dirty. Kind of one of those 50-50s that'll sometimes just drop straight down and stick, but for Gossage it bounces out at the settle for par. And that's high from Freeman, so no par save on that one after going OB. short from AJ there. He's probably just outside the circle. Climb, perhaps about to fire off a turkey here after the slow start. And indeed, that's exactly what the doctor ordered for him to kind of hold on as he was starting to get chased out a little bit here from some of the other competitors. Yeah, going into this back nine, if you can score, um, you know, it's going to be pretty hard for anybody to catch you at this point. Yeah, I think at this point now he's got what closest person is four strokes away. So starting to build up a nice little reserve as we head into hole 11. Hole 11 is 562 feet. Um, most players are going to throw to the end of this tree line here. But as we saw yesterday, some of these players are going to be going for the green. I don't know if the wind is necessarily favorable for today, but yesterday we saw Kyle Klein throw it OB deep. So curious to see what he does today. Yeah, I mean, you have to feel like, especially if you're some of these guys who are, you know, four or five strokes behind it, it might be what you need to try to go for this to see if you can challenge them a little bit. As Klein will just play, you know, the wide highs are out there just playing for birdie, and he'll just let them make that call. Yeah, he's in a great spot after that drive for what you, like you said, a birdie. AJ Carey playing. A roller attempt there, it looked like, but it doesn't get caught up. So he's going to get caught up early, but if that can, he might have a look to go over the fence from down there, and that might have helped him quite a bit. 
Distance driver in hand here for Gossett, so I think going for it's definitely his call. Oh, yeah, for sure. Still doesn't quite push all the way there. Maybe the wind is not favorable for it, but still a good drive. A little short, but he's probably going to jump her for it. Freeman looking to take that same route, so he's certainly trying to attack the green as well. He gets up there. Circle two-ish, or maybe just outside of it. Yeah, let's do a form check here with Joel and so the long run up here, trying to get the most distance, most momentum into the shot here as he loads and then flat across and smash that disc. Like you said, probably circle two. We got AJ Carey just based on where he was at, playing this high zero with the parking lot was really his only option. You know, pretty well executed considering where he was. Yeah, he's gonna give himself a chance up there now. Kind of let that one get away from him a little bit. Yeah, that was a little soft there. Maybe worried about that OB deep on the upshot. Yeah. We'll have to settle for a long putt to try to get his birdie. And Joel Friedman, it's like he wanted to give that a chance, but didn't really. See if Gosses can do better here, try to get this an eagle bid. Yeah, not bad, but we'll have to settle for birdie. Yeah, good height, just not the right line. Oh, man. That would have been a, such a sick save from him from back there for birdie. Oh, yeah, it would have been one of the scrambles of the tournament, you feel like, if he pulled that off as Kyle Klein catching some chains, but not enough of them. He gives himself quite a long putt there for how far down the fairway he was. It's birdie for Gossage, so at least getting something out of this after missing the eagle putt. Klein going to have to settle for par. Freeman will get the birdie, it looks like. I'll shrink the gap back down to three. on to hole 12 so hole 12 is actually the hardest hole on the course players are going to throw to these two trees is about the distance you throw on the first shot and then depending on your landing spot you're either going to have a forehand over the road or a hyzer over the inside gap uh, ob is going to run left and right and you're going to have that single mango tree there gosh it just rips one right up the middle really well done a little tight to that tree, but I think he'll like that spot. There's a little left for Freeman. He's at the stick. Oh boy. This grass is the thickest grass in the country. And it gives me that. Not good. It's going to be a tough up and down for par from back there. Yeah, I mean, you're three behind the leader trying to hunt him down, going OB like that. Takes a little bit of pressure off Klein as long as he can stay in bounds. Great shot out of his hand, too. Smoked that one. That is, that is a great spot. I would take that every day of the tournament if I could. That's that Ferrari disc coming out of him there. Left his a little too high as well. Nope. Stick there and grabbing the grass. Here's that inside hyzer route I was talking about. It looks like he's going to take. Looks like his best chance to approach the green. Five through. Comes up a little short. <laughs> trying to coax it forward with some hand gestures there. Oh man, Gossage ripping up that big swinging hyzer forehand. Holy moly. Wow. 
I say that a lot when he throws, I feel like. The man throws far. Yeah. Both backhand and forehand, the guy's got elite distance. Great shot here from Klein. Oh, hits the basket oh, again! Oh my goodness. Let's watch that again, shall we? This is twice on the back nine. This man has found the basket from distance. Wow. And just sits so pretty. Yeah, he, he, he hasn't gotten punished for that. Like, it hasn't rolled away on him. It's just dropped down both times. Love to see that. As seemed like just kind of a layup for Carey. Thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like his effort Giving on that everybody one. everybody the thumbs down. He's like, that one wasn't good, guys. Boo. I'm not booing him. He booed himself, just to be clear. Okay. Oh, All right. ramped it in. It's like, it, it's like, eh. Oh, okay. All right. I'll take that. That is the least enthusiastic huge par putt reaction. Yeah, that's a really good save from back there, and he was not happy. He knows he kind of got away with one there. And I think that's more, you know, he's trying to hunt down the leader. He kind of felt like he missed his opportunity, but still some holes left to play here in the back nine. As Gossage yeah. will get his birdie. Good putt out of him. There's plenty of holes left that you can score on out. All right, hole number 13 here, 767 feet. There's going to be OB that runs on the right-hand side. It's going to come up in front of these trees and run to the road. The road is OB, but you can go across it to the left, and then you're going to be playing here to an island green. So I would really say about, you know, Two, three hundred ish shots, and you're gonna be there. Big forehand here from Goss, just trying to shave off as much distance as he can off the tee without running into the OB. Got a low laser beam here from Klein. Out there quite a ways as well. I look kind of like only 250 or so, 350 or so of the basket. Freeman caught some bitch. He had some footing issues there. Yeah, some of these tee pads, I would say, you can slip on pretty easily. They are kind of getting beat in. AJ Carey needs this thing to get to the ground and. It's going to be road. okay over there. So that's the thing. He did rise enough to get all the way across the road. So that was a tough upshot, but he is safe. And actually, Freeman has a little bit of a gap here to pop a forehand through to get up to the island. And he does. A little deep, but makes it. There, as you can see, a very different approach to the hole. A little wide there from Klein, but still on the island and in the circle, looking to putt for birdie. Gossage. Yeah, quite, a, quite a few players talked about how we should have maybe cut the OB shorter, um, so that way the second shot was longer or it forced you to play across the road. Yeah, I could see that. We are going to be the climb first for the birdie attempt. And that will connect. Not giving anyone a chance to gain one on him on this hole. Good putt there from Freeman. Keeps him within four. Button stroke is looking pretty good today, I would say, on this back nine. Absolutely. He winds up with the turkey here to kind of start kicking off his back nine. There's the par on hole 10. Got a little star frame here on hole 13 when it's all said and done. I hadn't seen too many of those. That's a great hole for the card. And we're on to hole 14. Uh, hole 14 is going to be a par 5. It's going to have OB right and left. 
players are just throwing a shot about right here and then you have many options to go for the green Let's say it's a high probability that we're going to see an eagle or maybe multiple eagles out of this group yeah, I mean, we got five holes left now, and Klein still has a four-stroke lead over Freeman, so time's starting to kind of run out. So, like you said, maybe trying to go for Eagle is your best hope at trying to gain a little bit of ground on him. That is a smash off the box to get up there past that tree. Bombing one, two here. It's going to be a little inside there, but I think he'll be able to have a look. You really want to be in like the center of it so that way you can go for the second hyzer, in my opinion. Yeah, that looked pretty center there from Freeman, so he may have exactly what you're talking about out in front of him here. So we get to our last guy on the lead card. It's going to be A.J. Carey playing the Heiser over the road. That's that wide Heiser gap you were talking about here for the second shot. Great skip there, and that roll's gonna actually think put him deep in the basket. You are correct. Lengthy putt, but he will have a look at it for Eagle. Freeman eyeing up something high, it looks like here. Not sure what he's got in front of him. I'm trying to still play the wide hyzer. Well done. He's going to be up there a little short, but about the, probably the same distance putt as AJ. Oh, Thummer from Gossage. Hadn't seen this from him too much. I mean, okay then. Wow. What a shot. I, I didn't know he had that in him, to be honest. I've, I don't know that I've ever seen him throw it on coverage. But he's got it, apparently. That's a great shot as well. We got multiple eagle looks here. In fact, everyone, I think, at least has a chance at it. Freeman first to act and finds it. And he really needed that. We're running out of holes. Well, hopefully putting the pressure on and maybe big putt some of these guys. But we'll see. AJ Carey, that's another. Three for three equals all 14. We have your leader as the closest one. Oh my goodness, man. What would this even be? You know, we kind of say star frame for birdies, galaxy frame if there's, you know, a bunch of birdies with, like, maybe an eagle or two sprinkled in, but all four eagles? <laughs> oh, That's man. incredible. That's a black hole frame. I don't know. That's, I don't know what we call that. So we're going to do a little chase car check in here with Nathan Queen. Beautiful flex left back in here. And looking at the stats here, this hole did play the easiest at point nine one under par. What a second shot from Queen. Holy cow. Yeah, we we got to see all the second shots, I feel like, all the lines. Right side, hyzer, left side, hyzer, and then the low one by um, Kyle there. Hi guys, Ricky Wysocki here. We are starting the Saki Bomb Foundation. The main goal for me is to really give back to the sport, start kids from a young age, and expose them to the great sport of disc golf that we all love. We got a website going, SakiBombFoundation.org. There's lots of different things you can do on the website. I've heard uh, the older generation of disc golfers saying, I wish I would have started disc golf when I was younger, and now I'm able to start these kids off at a young age through my foundation. It really means a lot to me, and it means a lot for the sport to donate and go to the website, SakiBombFoundation.org. Right in hole 15, 360 feet. 
there is going to be OB that's behind the basket deep. And as you see, the green is going to run away towards it. So players really want to come up short and kind of skip towards the basket. And so no one got any strokes on Kyle there as everyone found the eagle. And now we've got four holes left to play. And Uh-oh. Oh, and then I'm pretty sure he rolled back in bounds there. It looked like he was past the line. Very well could have been. And that would have been maybe an opportunity for someone, but as it stands, he keeps himself in play. I mean, good lord. That thing was on so much angle and still pushed deep of the pin. He throws so hard. Yep. Good one on a Joel to get inside the circle. Yeah, I mean, again, he's running out of holes. Four strokes behind, four holes to play. Could be a chance to get one here, depending on if he's able to make the putt and whatever Kyle Klein has left. Oh. Man, a good line, too, on that. Just a little short. After seeing this, would you guess this play over par or under par? Uh, I'm going to go under par. It played at point zero two over par, actually. Well, I feel like this is a pretty routine hyzer for most open players. And there's a great putt on it. Absolutely, man. He is, again, he kind of caught fire with four in a row towards the back half of the front nine, and he's starting to get going here on the back half of the course as well. Really charging for that podium spot, and that miss from Freeman might have kind of just ended this thing. Yeah, that was, I, he was already picking up his mini. He thought that was in. Certainly it looked to be, but... You know, as it stands, it's now going to be five strokes of separation. Well, never mind. It's still going to be four. That was his chance to decrease it to three. But now there's only three holes left to play. He knows that he needed that one. Absolutely. It's going to take, you know, perfect play from this point forward for Freeman. And Klein's going to have to make a mistake or two. Yeah, so hole 16 is 755 feet. Players are going to be getting out in the open here with either a flat shot they can throw that wide hyzer, and then they're just going to be throwing, you know, basically dealer's choice to the basket, whatever they'd like. AJ Carey on this hot streak will be taking the box here. He's going to hyzer out to the right and have some trees in his way, but I think we should be able to get inside the circle from there for birdie. Yeah, and the other battle you got to think about here is, you know, Freeman's only two strokes ahead of the people just behind him on the podium. So even second place in jeopardy at this point, depending on how the rest of this plays out. This Gossage puts yeah. a move on that thing. Oh, my. He's... You don't see many discs get to that last tree, I would say. Very, very rare. At this point, if you're climbing, you just kind of have to kind of keep it clean. You should be walking away with the trophy. And that shot will certainly help him in that direction. Look at this thing. What and a beauty. He's still throwing absolute smashes. No laying up here because that is probably even with that tree. Yeah, that is a rip for sure. <laughs> a pretty good move on that as well. He obviously needs to push, but you know, like you were saying, he could get easily get caught by one of these guys. This AJ Carey puts himself right there near the pin for another birdie. Setting the pace here on 16. Big spike forehead over the parking lot from Mr. Gossage and still deep at the pin. Takes a little bounce, but A 
Looking good from Freeman, as long as it can settle down. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Was that a... I think that was a Gator. Or an overstable approach disc. Yeah, absolutely. Just not sure if it was Gator or some other, but certainly one of his favorites to throw is... Okay, Blind just puts it under the pin. He's like, this is mine, folks. Yeah, he's like, you guys to go ahead and fight for second, but uh, I'll be walking away with this title. Back-to-back, -back, 303 Open champion. Remember last year, he had won it over Eagle McMahon coming down to the last hole, won by a stroke, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, they both had a putt on the last hole, and we missed, and he made it. And now, now he has his Wait, own shirts. That that's his right there. Oh my goodness. Yep. Put it to like six feet. Not even, I don't think, because we're going to get another star frame here, though. As we start wrapping up this final round. All right, and we're here at hole 17, 586 feet. Four OB right and left hand side. Come up here and wrap to these trees and then back out to the left there, but then it's gonna wrap all the way around the basket. Most players are just gonna throw a hyzer off the tee, and then really the tricky shot is the approach on this one. So I don't think Kerry got that out as wide as he wanted, but still turns out to be pretty solid. Again, yeah, it's a big foot race for second right now, but Freeman does hold that two-stroke advantage. Yeah, if he keeps it in bounds on this hole, I would say he should be able to keep second place. Yeah. But it's one of those things now, if you're Aaron Gossage and AJ Carey, you know that you have to match the other to maintain your podium spot. One slip up, and all of a sudden you can see that tie, you knock down the fourth. Klein's essentially doing a bit of a victory lap at this point. Yeah, he's throwing my uh, choice line. I, I like to skip it off the road there so I don't have to worry about the left. And it'll be... You just like to hunt cars down, I'm not lie. Yeah, you know, I've gotten close a couple times. Thankfully, oh. hit me and... Oh, man. Speaking of hitting things, Joel's going to get that uh, light pole in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, it said no parking, and it certainly is going to stop him from parking himself on the fairway, but not parking this basket. That was a great approach there to settle it down. What a, what a bounce back shot there. After an unfortunate hit. A little short from AJ Carey there. Hey, he's got himself very short, actually, with that. Probably like edge of circle two. Perhaps opportunity now for Gossage then, as long as this approach goes well. And oh, yeah. So that took full advantage, it looks like, putting the pressure on him. And I mean, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things for Klein. Yeah, it's just good to stay in bounds there. That's what he should be most concerned about. AJ Carey! Wow. From downtown. Let's get a rewind. Oh, and if Gossage thought the door had cracked open, that certainly slams it back shut. That is a huge putt from the backside of circle two. Absolutely, man. AJ Carey's been on a tear this final round. He's at 10 under par. No one else on the lead card in double-digit territory. That's great for the win they had today. Yeah, he had four in a row on the front nine. Now it's eagle and then into a turkey of birdies. Man. This card on the back nine is playing very well. Absolutely, man. Showing you why they are on the lead card. We might have ourselves a couple of more coming in here. Gossage will find his birdie. That'll keep him knotted up with AJ Carey for third, heading to the final hole. And... Joel Freeman will maintain that two-stroke lead into 18 over his fellow podium mates. As Klein's lead will shrink down to three, but with only one hole to play, he's still good to go.
Yeah, full 18 is 445 feet. You're gonna have OB on both sides and behind the basket there with that fence. Really just a big hyzer for these guys. Yeah, not too much to stress out about on this final hole. But again, there's still maybe a chance for a little bit of a toss-up for that third place position at this point. It's a great shot from AJ to get all the way up there. He's probably right at the circle's edge or maybe just outside. Yeah, certainly a test here for Birdie, though. If Gossage can park this, that would put the pressure on Carey just a touch in that fight for the tie for third. I mean, both of them have a little bit of work to do on this putt. Yeah, probably about the same length of putt there. Stay in bounds. He didn't like it as soon as it left his hands, so. He's going to be inside circle two, though, and unfortunately he's not going to put any pressure on Kyle here to... Kyle just needs to chip it down the fairway a couple times and he needs to be walking away at the championship. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even with that, Freeman is still going to nod up second. He's not going to give up two strokes with that drive by any means. And oh. Kyle Klein just looking to finish oh. in style, man. Man. <laughs> He's hit basket twice on the back nine, and that one almost did it a third time. That would have been a sweet ending to this. Yeah. That's not the finish that Freeman will want, but... Again, in the grand scheme of things, it'll keep him on the same place on the leaderboard at second position. Again, tester putts here for Gossage and Carey to try to stay in that third place position. And there's Gossage ringing his up. Man, did he bring that putter for this back nine. Absolutely, man. Ends it with a turkey. Way to finish strong for Gossage. Can Carey match? Yes. And he'll maintain his place right there next to Gossage in third. What a battle out of those two today. Absolutely. It took everything from both players to maintain their presence there for bronze. Freeman knocking in second position. And now with the final putt, Klein locks in a final birdie and his back-to-back -back championship here at the 303 Open. Yeah, that's pretty impressive to go back to back here with the players that come out and play for this event. And gentlemen, um, your congratulations, and back I'm sure we'll back. see him back here next year for it. Open champion, Kyle Klein. So with that said, that's going to wrap things up here at the 303 Open. A strong final round there from Clyde and a pretty brilliant back half of the course. AJ Carey fighting hard as well. Look at his finish from 13 through the end of the course. So that's going to put him in that tie for third with Gossage. Freeman in second. Nathan Queen will join the top five yourself. Still managed to stay in the top ten there at seventh position. And what a fun event this was. Yeah, what a great event it was. Good weather for the most part. A little windy, but overall a good weekend. Indeed. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, and be sure to follow subscribe so you can catch more coverage here at Gatekeeper Media on the Disc Golf Pro Tour and future Gatekeeper Series events. Until next time, see you later.